Cardano continues to take some massive steps towards not only mass adoption, but in general, a better world built with cryptocurrencies and amidst all of everything happening as well. And if you don't know what's happening, essentially right now, we are going through a bit of a crypto crisis. Prices are going down even further than expected bears. And the bear market definitely is feeling, you know, very bear. Now, what happened? What initiated this? Well, yesterday, on Sunday evening, rather, so whatever day you're watching this, we had an event where the Celsius network, basically where people go to use as their crypto bank for lending, borrowing, you know, staking, all these great things to preserve and protect their assets. It was paused and the withdrawals completely stopped, billions of dollars locked in the platform and customers could not get their money out. Now, there's a lot of theories about Celsius Network's troubles, what they did. Is this, you know, the Luna Terra 2.0? But I don't really want to cover that in today's video. We're here to talk about Cardano steps rather because my channel is about mainly Cardano. But in general, cryptocurrencies are feeling the effect of this and it is not looking so hot. Maybe it's coincidence and timing, but these things definitely don't look so good when Bitcoin's down to 23,000, Ethereum down to $1,200 and everything else is just down, down and down. So with all of this crisis and all these things going on, I want to shine some light on the Cardano side of things as that is what we focus on in the channel. And today we are talking about kind of the path towards a billion users or some of these steps that Cardano is still taking during all of this to meet the roadmap and reach that billion users by 2026 and beyond. So before we get into it though, if you do want to stake your ADA and you are holding it, you can stake it with the Jack stake pool. But Essentially, what I'm talking about the first step is the Dish Network, one of the major partnerships with Cardano that was announced earlier in the end of 2021, quarter four. We have Dish Network launching a decentralized identification and a loyalty coin system built on top of input output global technology. So this is also built up on top of Cardano. IOG input output global is one of the founding partners of Cardano. And it is pretty interesting. It's nothing too insane, but when you think long term, this is a first step towards essentially utilizing Atala Prism, which is a decentralized identity service built on top of Cardano. We're going to cover that in a second and putting it actually into place where people can test it out and have access to something that is a decentralized identif identification system. So if that doesn't mean anything to you. Essentially, imagine having the power to self custodize not only you know, your accounts on platforms like say your mobile network, but also having the ability to just really choose what you want to do with your assets, with your identity and have it accessible, not through a third party. And to be honest, there's a lot more to it than that. And the structure of something like a loyalty program for Dish may be, uh, you know, there's going to be some different fulcrums and places where things might not be as centralized. But the idea is that the base layer of what they're building is on top of something that is decentralized, which is Cardano. There's a lot of capabilities that they have put through in their MVP of the basically a system that they're trying to implement here. But the conclusion that I want to show you is the pioneering MVP represents a major step towards the integration of blockchain enabled systems, which is huge. That's the whole point why we're here. We're trying to get blockchain systems to be integrated into the real world and have applicable use cases that help people's lives. And they have put it into the telecommunications ecosystem and specifically for the creation of a loyalty program powered by decentralized ledgers. More on a tile prism. I will do a video on this shortly and go through a demo on how awesome it is. But I also will also leave the link to a tile prism in the description below, as well as the article here if you want to read it. But a tile prism, basically, it's a self sovereign identity platform. Okay, that's the main thing here. You're choosing yourself to manage your identity, which is pretty big. And to me, something that I think a lot of people all around the world could certainly benefit from, especially if they don't already have identity solutions where they're living. Now, this is also going to be built on Cardano. That's a major thing. Obviously, not every single thing is going to be done through Cardano, as we don't want to, you know, clog a blockchain with data that isn't necessarily needed to be on the, the said blockchain. But we will be able to utilize Cardano to its max potential for the security aspects of this platform. At least that's the idea of it. Having Cardano as a base layer and using things to authenticate and provide security for the Itala Prism platform, which may run on another blockchain or another ledger, is the ideal situation. 
some more massive steps towards this a billion user plan and in general just steps that are happening every day is community built tools and community built things like say an nft marketplace putting through new features that people have been waiting for for a while yes maybe offers on nfts aren't really your style and you'd more or less talk about self-sovereign identity platforms really i don't know everyone likes their own things but to me this is also interesting i thought i mentioned and i know a lot of people on my channel do watch nfts so you can now make offers on any nft using jpeg store i'm going to go ahead and make an offer on this stick frick right here basically you just put in your price and then you sign the transaction and then bada bing bada boom i'll save that for later and one last thing before we go is i want to talk about the fact that a lot of people look at smaller stats and this is kind of more relevant to me but the bank of canada has said, said that the number of canadians holding bitcoin doubled in 2021 to be honest i think this is probably even very inaccurate i think it's probably more than doubled because the, i don't think the bank of canada really knows all that much towards how much people are res resided in canada that hold bitcoin it's a very very hard thing to know especially on a you know entire scale where everyone's talking about not having basically connections to their banks especially with their cryptocurrencies uh, because they don't want to get their assets frozen so yeah that's it for today's video cardano continues to take steps whether they be small big or pretty large towards self-sovereign identity platforms and much more decentralized identity is going to be huge for cardano and i do think it'll be a major catalyst as i've talked about a million times on the channel if you were holding your crypto through this massive downturn and you want to stake your ADA somewhere to earn passive ADA on your ADA, please do so with a Jack stake pool. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.